Welcome back, everyone. We've all heard the stories of the 50-year-old man, why are we picking on men, uh, who traded in his wife for a woman half of his age, uh, all the while parading around in that shiny red Corvette. <laughs> Wow, we, we really just, <laughs> poor men. All right, it, it's a typical example of a midlife crisis, or is that phase just simply an excuse for big life changes later in life? Researchers can see it both ways, but what do you think? We decided this would be a good one to dive into. In Real Talk with Kara Kinnear, lifestyle expert Mandy Landefeld stuck around and here performing all weekend long at the Punchline <laughs> Comedy Club, our dear friend, comedian John Heffron. John! Yay! Thank you! Woo! Thank you. And, and this is how I talk to people with my Stop. face over here. Something that's not funny. We just um, he has had a health care crisis. So I had a, just... a, a month ago, I got Bell's palsy, which basically is if your brain is an electric company, mm -hmm. and one side of your face goes, "I don't really have money to pay rent." And then the other oh. side goes, we're going to turn everything off if we don't get a little cash. And then it goes, no. And then it's, so it's like a stroke where you lose, I, you no. have a, 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 like nerves here. So this whole side so of my scary, face just you know. dropped for no reason. I'm literally on stage, but I got I'm this. So, so, I'm Listen, yeah. I wasn't handsome enough oh, to begin with. I think with. you're very handsome. But here's yeah. what's funny real quick, and then we'll that get to this. Scary. Because I am 50. I am recently divorced. I am the person that you narrated in there. But I literally signed up for a dating app mm -hmm. the morning of oh. this falling off, and I'm in the hospital. I'm in a random hospital on Christmas Eve by myself because I didn't have a uh, emergency con uh, you uh, know, contact yeah, because yeah. I'm literally just divorced. Me and Kara. So I'm like, yeah. put another doctor's name down. That's who you should put for, for a second <laughs> right. contact. Right. Right. So I'm literally. So then I'm, I'm in the hospital room this Christmas Eve by myself. And I'm like, well, I guess I changed my profile picture. Or, hey, ladies, who's into the Phantom of the Opera guy mask? Oh, stop. Like, I'll just, night time. Stop. Oh, stop. Stop. Yeah. So yeah. anyway. You're a big celebrity. You got some pictures. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, but, yeah. So we're so part. glad. So if I lean this way, it's just no, because this side is not. And he's so handsome. funny. You got to support him at the punchline. But I do uh, like dive the into this because you've been on the show now for uh, a, a few times, and I, I, we can't wait to get your perspective. Um, but these studies are showing that the great majority of people believe in the reality of the so-called midlife crisis. Almost half of adults over 40 claim to have had one. Hmm. Um, Kara, I'll start with you, little hmm. youngster. <laughs> um, do you do you believe that there is such? Oh, be careful with your back. <laughs> and she could have her back right now. She might not be right here. Right 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 no. We're falling apart. I um do I believe do in believe in it, I suppose, but I think we're always having life crises in a way, right? Like yeah, we're always like reevaluating. Isn't yeah, this coming yeah, from yeah. somebody who recently changed their hair color? Uh, yes. Right, Weirdly yeah. enough, yeah. around the time. I, I, follow, I, I follow your guys' blog. Yes, yes. Yeah. No, but right, it's just, well, it seems like it's a, well, that's what this whole article was. Is there such a thing, Mandy, do you think? Or is it an excuse mm. to finally make some changes in your life? Mm. I think I have seen it happen a lot with friends, both men and women. Like, especially if a woman gets to her 40s and that, and the kids are now big enough to manage them, so, and she starts getting some freedom. Yeah. I don't think yeah. it's as. When I see it with the women, it, it's not that like typical tacky version of what we see for the guys. Yeah. But he does um, have a Corvette. Though. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I just buy. I bought a Fiero. Oh, okay, um, right, right, <laughs> but not. But they it, start like spreading their wings, and I, and I see just stuff that they're not willing to put up with anymore, and like maybe it's just a new resurgence of independence. Independence. Hmm. I've seen yeah. the women that I know who have made a big change. We'll just say mm -hmm. it's it go, for women. It may look different for men, but or maybe not like. The clothes get more provocative. Maybe they are working mm. out and taking care of themselves. Maybe they have enough money that they went and had mm. plastic surgery that yes. they've been thinking of so. for a decade and a half, and right. so then that it you know gives them a new found After confidence, the and then they start getting. I mean, it's just like, you know, which which decisions and things and priorities start to change, I right, think, a little bit when right. you get a little bit older. Or I think only because, I know this because I'm officially dating and, and women that I date are around my age and we're all in 20-year marriages and all got out of those marriages. So I think you just reach a certain age where you go, 
what makes me happy, yeah. right. what doesn't make me happy. Right. You know what? These people don't make me happy. Right. Like, this stuff right. does yes. it. And, right. then, and then you have a signature change. You, I you, think that's you, you what... You get rid of your yeah. skin. We think midlife you know, is that... I think that... What that's he summed it, it up, it's well, exactly Well, how many, it. like... Th this sounds morbid, but how many more summers left do you have on Earth? Right. Like that could once you get to a certain age, you go. Why am I? Why am I, right. right. I wasting? Yes. Like it, it, for me, my midlife is right. So I recently divorced. I got to sell my house in Los Angeles. Like, what am I doing next? It's like being an 18-year-old, except I have cash. But right. I have a whole. Right. But right. I have a whole life ahead of me now right. going right. out. I can kind of make. Right. Yeah. So I, I've been really into shipping container homes. And I'm like, I'm going to get a shipping container house. Oh, put there's it some in really the nice ones. Yes, but then here's the deal as the now happens. single guy. If I ask you, you should come to my house and I'll make you dinner. Okay, here's what you do. The shipping container yeah. and the what? Yeah, you're going to go down a dirt road and you're going to see a container. I don't like this. And then go into the container. See, I've already don't lost it. Don't do 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 it. Get a traditional home. No, I, I, but I. Just I, do something cool. A lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Well, I want to yeah. keep, keep my house, but every girl that like I know goes, no woman is going to want a recycled house. You got to get rid of that. Uh, but that's a thing. But that's a different uh, thing. Well, but no, but, I yeah. mean, but I want, all right, so the most common reasons that men <laughs> experience a crisis, fear of getting old, fear of getting sick, or fear of not fulfilling their dreams. So mm -hmm. in addition to what you're going through in your marriage, any of those, like, did you take inventory on any of that? Fear of getting sick? Well, you've had this I crisis. Was, I was but literally even... standing there doing nothing, and my face dropped out on me. So that just shows you, if, if you're at all healthy for any reason, yeah. mm -hmm. you have to have gratitude because it's that can be taken away from right. you in literally ten, so, 10 minutes. Yeah. That, so that, that could be super scary. Like, I couldn't even talk two I weeks know. ago. Yeah. It was like having a stroke, but you don't get the sympathy. Like, oh, and right. depending, oh, sure. if you're watching the show it, right now, yeah. um, if you're on this side, you think I really enjoy being here. And then if you're watching from this side, you think I'm like <laughs> kind of into this show. Yeah, so it is kind of, it is kind of weird. But I, but I think it's, it's you get to a point. Now, guys who get vets and, and, yes, and that's, a, yes. that's a different type of life crisis. You know, they, they get rid of their wives and they date a 20 year old right. and they have convertibles. Those guys are always kind of that guy anyway. I just want to live in a shipping container and have a full face. Right. That's well, literally my oh. midlife crisis. But I think that to your point, That's it also lovely. goes back to fulfilling like the things that matter to them. And if they were that guy always, then now they're really wanting to be that guy. So it's the same mo like motto of what you were just talking yes. about. That really what this whole topic that we're talking about is well, just uh, also, figuring out the things now you're like, I'm but, old enough, I want to do what I want to do. Right, it's almost, you feel like it's almost like the way we look at like a New Year resolution. Right. At the beginning of the year, we're going to do this and you make a list. The, the, the big birthdays, they're pivotal in, in making us really contemplate, are we where we want to be? Right. So is it officially a crisis or is it just no. uh, an inventory of where you've been and where you want to be? It's an adjustment. And, yeah, an adjustment. But, but I'll, and I'll say this really quick. What happens though, if somebody's having an adjustment, I think every... You know, five, ten years, you, you change your signature if you still do cursive. But you, you, you're a different person than you were at 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah. So that's why people who get married really young, things, things kind of mm -hmm. end up changing. But it's kind of like this. I'm going to use a 1990s reference. Okay. Right? You are a CD player, okay? You're mm -hmm. a CD player. Over time, you're allowed to pop out that CD that's playing in it and put in a different CD player. Right, you, you can have different music playing sure. out of there. Uh -huh. You're still the actual physical thing, but you're allowed to go, you know what? I was really into, into this song or this group for a little bit. I love Hootie and the Blowfish. Now I'm gonna change it up. Now, now if you have partners and stuff, they might have a hard time going, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. I dated right. the Hootie and the Blowfish person. Right. Right. Now right. suddenly you're Bruno right. Mars. Uh, I don't know if I can handle right. your change. Right. 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 When you're like, no, I got no. sick. I got it's sick. A good of, analogy. Yeah. Sick of playing that music. Uh, I'm still the same. Right. Whatever. Record, you're a CD player, but yeah. you right. have different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't want to be. Up I hate phone. that we're running out of time because this is a good one. Oh, I can't. Good. All right. Uh, Haley, when may jump to this one. All right. Um, if it all sounds like a bunch of baloney to you, you are not alone. A researcher from Australia found that there is little evidence that the midlife crisis actually exists. In fact, uh, he says evidence, point, evidence points to uh, life generally becoming more positive around this time as the personality becomes more stable. Do you think that you should be happier 
as you age. I would say I, I think I've gotten more comfortable right. with who well, I am. I say as with I age age comes wisdom, hopefully. So you become more comfortable in who you are, and then that should alleviate a lot of the outside pressures that you feel from other people because you stop caring less. Yes, right. what well, I think about what other people think. And inner. I, I would disagree with that only because being 48, on season 48 of life, um, this was a Netflix show, uh, I'm at a place where I'm equally, I have no questions answered as if I was 18 years old. Oh, where, wait, 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 wait. Who, who am I going to go some... out with? Where am I going to live? What am I, all those mm, questions right. that, because time will unwind everything that you master planned and put together in your life. Time will go, will start taking all that away from Hold you. Hold on, well, but that's very sad. I, I know, know, no, 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 no. I don't want you to like. No, 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 the wisdom no, I don't mean that, that in a sad way. I'm and, saying be, have gratitude that what right. your friends totally and that agree. person is with you right. mm -hmm. because like a Netflix thing, they can take those characters away at any time whether you wanted them to stay on in the show. <laughs> been killed off. I am not bitter about what's going on in my life. No. I'm calling Jim right now. I love you. Yeah. I love you, honey. Oh. You are incredible. We're so we always yes. love having you, and I'm so I so happy you you're feeling better. You're, I'll you, get my smile back. Stop. Yes. You, I'm just. You have to make How's sure that? you stay up to date. <laughs> Go see John this weekend at Punchline. Trending with Trent is coming up next. I wanted more time with that, darn it. Okay.